Ethiopia. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Santa Buana. I am Elder Cosme E. Sim. Me, Mama Felicia Bocasins. And we have Jesus, Jesus Reigns, Reigns Restoration, Restoration Ministry. Amen. And this is part three of our lesson. A broken heart. A broken heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And would you please turn your Bibles to Psalms 51 and 1. Tuelekeze uh, Biblia zetu zaburi ya msina moja kuanzia mstari wa kwanza. A hallelujah. And we will begin to read. I will read first one first. The chief chief. The, the chief musician. A psalm of David. Amen. When Nathan the prophet came unto him. After he had gone into Bathsheba. He liandikwa na mtumishu wa mungu Daudi wakati. Uh, Nabi Nathan alivo enda kwake baada ya kutembea na Bechiba. Have mercy upon me. E mungu ni rehemu. Oh God, according to thy kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Hallelujah. Tasoma katika jina la buwana. Read Kone. one please. Tasoma moja katika jina la buwana. E mungu unirehemu, sawa sawa na fadhili zako, kiasi cha wingi wa rehema zako, uyafute makosa yangu. This is David going before the Lord. Huyu ni Daudi akienda mbele za Bwana. And ask for mercy for the sin that he committed. Akiomba rehema kwa dhambi alizozitenda. And the sin that he committed was adultery with another man's wife. Na dhambi aliyoifanya ni kufanya uzinzi na mke wa mtu. Seeing uh, Bathsheba bathing, he became obsessed with her. And in the Bible, when you're intimate with somebody, it will use the term that he knew her. And in the process of knowing Bathsheba, katika, um, uh, katika hali hii, she informed him that she was with child. And David plotted to send her husband into battle to have him killed. And he did so and her husband died. His name was uh, uh nevertheless amen. it's the truth. Amen. I, I can't think of his name, but he sent them into the battle. Okay, and I can get I can the Nathan the prophet went to him amen. and confronted him about it. Um to me show Nathan Akaenda and David was sorrowful because he knew he sinned before the Lord. Daudi akawa na huzuni maana ametenda dhambi mbele za Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And David sinned before the Lord. David akatenda dhambi mbele za Bwana. Nathan the prophet told him of his sin. Akamwambia kuhusu makosa yake. And David went before the Lord. And in the first verse, he says, Have mercy upon me, O God. According to thy love and kindness. Amen. And he and blot out, he's asking the Lord to have mercy on him and blot out his sin, his transgression. We we want to be healed to totally. Our, hallelujah. We want to be redeemed of our sins. We want, we want the mercy of the Lord. And he was seeking the mercy of God. Because he sinned a great sin against God. Hallelujah. And men, I just want to say. Hallelujah. That is written in God's word. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's property. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. 
wala usitamani mke wa jirani yako and women likewise na wanawake hivyo hivyo concerning other people's property and husbands uso mali za watu wengine na waume za watu wengine my advice is look away and live ushauri wangu ni kwamba angalia pembeni na uweze kuishi for jesus said yesu alisema that if you so much as look at lust that for someone ukiangalia mtu yoyote yule kwa kutamani kimwili with your eyes you commit adultery in your heart moyoni mwako amen amen and that deserves repentance na hiyo inatakiwa ni dhambi ya kutubu vinginevyo hutaiona mbele that's an i'm sorry lord yani ni kutubu mbele za bwana kabisa amen amen talk about the secret sins that we don't confess <coughs> sure we come by people that we become attracted to or somebody that you might see but you don't have to be lost in there for someone to admire someone kuna vizuri au umevaa vizuri sio lazima unawaka tamaa ya kuzini naye The lust of the flesh and the pride of life gets us in trouble. Kulakini kujiachia ukawaka tamaa ukaanza kutamani kuzini na watu wa watu wengine ni dhambi. Just repent. Tubu kabisa. Amen. Amen. So verse 2 it says he asks in the Lord to he says wash me thoroughly of my iniquity of my sin and cleanse me from my sin. Mstari wa pili anasema nitasoma katika jina la Bwana unioshe kabisa na uovu wangu unitakase dhambi zangu Hallelujah verse 3 for I acknowledge um, my transgressions and my sins is ever before me Read that please Maana nimejua mimi makosa yangu na dhambi yangu imbele yangu daima Hallelujah he saying I'm acknowledging I'm let, I'm telling you of my my transgressions the things that i did and my sins the things that i'm doing is before me like a billboard i can't escape it nimekutenda yani anasema dhambi iko mbele yangu ni kama tangazo kubwa kabisa siwezi kuikimbia and that's what happens when you have a conscious na ndio hii inakutokea kama una dhamira if you have a conscious you can kill a thousand people and don't care kama hauna dhamira iliyo hai unaweza kaua watu 1000 na wala hutajali it won't phase you haitakusumbua kabisa why because there's a spirit of god and there's a spirit of error kwa maana kuna roho ya mungu na kuna roho ya ukengeufu kabisa mtu aliyepotea and that spirit of error is of the devil roho ya makosa ya uovu ni ya shetani and jesus and the apostles say sin is of the devil bwana yesu na watumishi wa wanafunzi wake walisema dhambi ni ya shetani who do you yield your body to is who you serve yule unayemwachia maungo yako ya mtumikia tumikia tumikisha mwili wako na maongo yako ndio unayemtumikia amen amen in verse 3 uh verse uh hallelujah 4 against thee only have i sinned and done this evil in thy sight that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judges read please stadi wa 4 katika jina la bwana Nimekutenda dhambi wewe peke yako na kufanya maovu mbele za macho yako wewe ujulikane kuwa una haki unenapo na kuwa safi utoapo hukumu Again coming clean with God fessing up confessing your faults and your sins in repentance Ukikiri dhambi zako na kutubu with a sincere heart kwa moyo uliyomaanisha kabisa there it might have been a fight or incident inawezekana labda umegombana na mtu hallelujah and you said well he started he did this he did that and, and he did such and such and such but what did you do unaweza kusema alianza yeye alifanya hivi alifanya hivi je wewe ulifanya nini is a saying it takes two to tangle kuna msemo wanapenda kusema yani ugomvi lazima uwe ni watu wawili and two wrongs don't make a right makosa mawili hayafanyi ile jambo likawa ni sawa it could be self defense inawezekana ulikuwa unajikinga where the law says justify ambao sheria inasema una haki or it could have been some foolishness that i played into i mean inawezekana kuna uzembe fulani uliwachia that where i'm talking about the 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 moat that's in this person's eye for the wrong that they've done 
ambao nazungumzia au mabaya ambao walifanya huyo mwingine but i have a beam in my eye for the Lakini, wrong that i've done yani kumbuka kuna boriti jijichoni kwako amen amen i can't tell somebody about the moat that they have in their eye when i have a beam of wrong in my eye huwezi kusema makosa aliyofanya mwenzio mtu mwingine wakati wewe kosa lako ni kubwa kuliko aliyofanya yeye get the sin out of the camp Ondoa dhambi kambini. Get the beam out of your eye that you can correct the situation properly. Ondoa kabisa hiyo dhambi kubwa ambayo iko mbele zako katika maisha upande wako. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 5. Behold, I have shaped I was shaped in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Read. Tasoma tano katika jina la Bwana. Tazama mimi naliumbwa katika hali ya uovu. Mama yangu alinichukua mimba hatiani. Six. Behold, I desire truth in the inward parts and in the hidden parts thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Amen. Tari wa sita. Tazama wapendezwa na kweli iliyo moyoni. Nawe utanijulisha hekima kwa siri. I know that I was shaped in iniquity. I know that I was born in sin. But inside my body, inside my heart, and my mind, Lord, I know that you will give me your wisdom. That I can walk in wisdom. That I can make wise and just decisions. Hallelujah. Not only concerning other people, your people as a hallelujah, but hallelujah, my life. Bali sio kuhusiana kuhusiana tu na, na na maisha yake pia pamoja na watu wa Mungu ambao Daudi alikuwa anawaongoza wakati ule. Hallelujah. For verse 7. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Read. Sari wa saba katika jina la Bwana. Unisafishe kwa hisopo, nami nitakuwa safi. Unioshe nami nitakuwa mweupe kuliko theluji. Hallelujah. And the Lord say though your sins be red as crimson. He promised to make you white as snow. That's you can find I believe that in Isaiah 1 and 1. Hallelujah. But in the book of Isaiah is there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus says. Hallelujah. He will wash away all your sins. And he said your sins I will throw into a, a sea of forgetfulness and I will remember them no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And here David is repenting with his whole heart. Purge me with his and I'll be white as snow. I need a blessing, Lord. Verse 9, hallelujah. Verse 8, he says, Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Read. Mstari wa nane, kitasoma katika jina la buwana. Unifanye kusikia furaha na shangwe, mifupa ulio iponda ifurahi. I hear the songwriter say, whatever you do, Lord, don't take your joy from me. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. Hide not thy faith, face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Hallelujah, with a broken heart. Hallelujah, when we sin before the Lord and we have to repent. Verse 10, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit in me. Hallelujah. 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 If some people they need to, the repentance. Hallelujah. They've done some wrong to some people. Kuna watu ambao ametenda maovu kwa watu wengine. They hurt a lot of people. Ambao wamewaumiza watu wengi sana. Some even committed murder. Wengine wamefanya mauaji. 
But as long as you got breath in your body. Lakini mradi una pumzi ndani ya 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 mwili wako. As long as you serious about hallelujah forsaken sin and serving God. Mradi umemaanisha uko serious kuacha dhambi na kumfuata Mungu. Need in repentance of your transgressions and your sins. Unahitaji kutubu dhambi zako na na maovu yako. Ask the Lord to create in you a clean heart. Muombe Bwana akuumbie moyo mpya ulio safi. And to renew the right spirit in you. Na akupe moyo safi na roho mpya ilio tulia. Amen. Amen. Cast not away from holy cast not away from thy presence and take not thy holy spirit from me. Oh Lord. Nikasoma 11 katika jina la Bwana. Usinitenge na uso wako wala roho yako mtakatifu usiniondolee. Many of us that have the Holy Ghost. Wengi ambao tuna roho mtakatifu. A lot of the troubles that that are in our life is not just from the devil and the world. Matatizo mengi tunayopitia sio tu kutoka shetani au ulimwengu. It's from some of the things that we do against the Holy Ghost. Kutokana bali ni kutokana na mambo ambayo tunayafanya dhidi ya roho mtakatifu. A lot of times we create our own problems. Mara nyingi tunasababisha makosa yetu wenyewe. But we quick to point finger at somebody else. Tunakuoa pesi kulaumu watu wengine. Even the devil, you can't blame the devil for everything. Hata shetani huwezi kumlaumu kwa sababu ya kila kitu. When it's you. Wakati ni wewe. David said again against you only have I sinned. Dawidi alisema ni dhidi yako wewe peke yako nimekutenda dhambi. Did he sin against the husband of Bathsheba by sending him to the battle? Yes, he did. Alitenda dhambi dhidi ya mme wa Bathsheba kumuua na nani uria. Did he commit cause her to commit adultery against her husband? Yes, he did. Alisababisha huyo mama akatenda dhambi dhidi ya ndoa yake na mme wake, alisababisha But I perceive he said it because God made him king of Israel over his people and he is the chief Lawmaker, Ina, hallelujah. Law enforcer, not lawmaker. Law enforcer of God's word. And he had to fess up, Lord. I sinned against you. I did this against you. Remove this. Remove this sin. Remove this transgression. Created me a clean heart. Renew the right spirit in me. I'm sorry, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Restore my joy. Restore my peace. Amen. He says in verse 12, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Read. Amen. I'm sorry. Unirudishie furaha ya wokovu wako. Unitegemeze kwa roho ya wepesi. I need restoration, Lord. Anahitaji kuhuishwa Bwana. Restore me, Lord. Nihuishe. I will do my first work over again. Nitarudia kutenda kazi yako upya tena. So many of us to have the Holy Ghost. Wengi wetu ambao wana Roho Mtakatifu. Have the Holy Spirit of God. Wana Roho Mtakatifu wa Bwana. Hallelujah won't Hallelujah won't take the low seat. Atutaki kwenda kukaa kiti cha chini. Hallelujah. What, so proud that you won't do your first work, repent and do your first work over again. Tunakibudi atutaki kufanya kazi zetu upya tena. As God commands us to do, Kama New Mungu Testament. Kama Mungu alivyotuamuru, agano jipya. Don't want to confess our faults one to another. Hatutaki kukiri dhambi zetu wenyewe kwa wenyewe. Don't want to pray one for another. Hatutaki kuombeana wenyewe kwa wenyewe. Oh, somebody going through all oh, they can oh Paul and Paul and well that's their problem. Yaani mtu anapitia mazito, magumu, ah anapitia ah pole pole. No, that's your problem too. Hiyo ni tatizo lako pia, libe. But when one is saying all is saying. Mmoja akiwa na huzuni, wote tunakuwa. But when one rejoice, all rejoice in the body of Christ. Mmoja akiwa ana furaha, wote wana furaha katika Bwana. Being disobedient. Tunakuwa na roho ya being a self person. Tunakuwa watu wenye ubinafsi. No, no, uh-uh. We, it can't be a, you can't be a self person. Because Jesus said if you can't deny your mother. Yes, when I say matukishindo kumkata, yani kumkana mama yetu. Your father. Baba yetu. Your sister. Dada yetu. Your brother. Kaka yetu. And yourself. Na sisi wenyewe. You cannot be my disciple. Atuwezi kuwa fuasi wa yesu. You cannot be, you can't, you cannot 
to uh, enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Being selfish and being a self person. That's why when you come to the Lord with a broken heart, you got to be real. When you turn for the Holy Ghost, for the power of God, you got to be real. You got to let go and let God. You can't carry nothing of the world and receive the Holy Ghost. Because he gives the Holy Ghost to, to them that will obey him. The songwriter said, I surrender all. You have to surrender all to receive the Holy Ghost. If you hold on to one thing of the world, <clears throat> one thing that you lust after, that boyfriend, that girlfriend, whatever it may be, you will not receive the Holy Ghost. That's a fact. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 14, deliver me from blood guiltness O God thou God of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness O Lord open thy thou my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Read. Amen. E mungu, uifumbue midomo yangu, na kinywa changu, kitazine na sifa zako. Hallelujah 16. For thou desire not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou desirest not in burnt offerings. Read. Mana hupendezu na thabihu, au ninge itoa. Wewe, huridhi, this, note this verse. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O oh God, thou wilt not despise. To carry him steady who now for what I'm in a saba, the son of the Nabuana. The be who's a mungu ni roho ilio vunjika, moyo ulio vunjika, nakupondeka, e mungu, huta utharao. Eighteen. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thy the wall of Jerusalem. Read. Uitende mema sayuni kwa radhi yako. Uzijenge kuta za Yerusalem. And 19. Then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness and burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings, then shall thy offer, thou offer bullocks upon thine altar. Read. Kumina tisa katika jina la buwana, ndipo utakapo pendezwa na thabihu za haki, na sadaka za kuteketezwa, na kafara, ndipo watakapo toa ngombe juu ya madhabahu yako. Hallelujah. Dear David is is pouring out his heart unto the Lord. Asking the mercy of the Lord. Asking God to take away his sins. To purge him. To make him white as snow. That created in him a clean heart. To renew the right spirit in him. Then he will come and he will praise and worship him. Ili atakuja, atamsifu, na he will hallelujah bring the sacrifice of righteousness safi, that pleases him with burnt offerings hallelujah and whole offerings hallelujah, na, whole na, burnt offerings yani, uh, <clears throat> taka, taka kabisa. and in the new testament we, worshiping the lord with our heart mind soul and strength in uh, all things giving thanks for it's the will of God concerning us all 
kuhusiana na that in all things we give thanks kwa makatika yote tumpe bwana utukufu amen, amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah this conclude part 3 of our lesson tapeti tunamalizia sehemu ya tatu ya somo hili a broken heart moyo uliopondeka thank you jesus amen